I wanted to show you two tips for working in with virtual instruments. So first of all, there's a thing called solo safe. And right now I'm using this talkback mic. If I soloed another track, let me just create, I'm going to create a stereo instrument track. And you'll notice if I solo this track, it's going to mute my talkback mic, right? Right? See, you, you lose me, right? So I want to make sure when anything's soloed that my microphone does not solo. So you put it in what's called solo safe. You hold the command key just left of the space bar and click on set on solo. And now when I click solo on the instrument track, it's not going to solo my talkback mic. Where you normally use that is you use it when you're using effects. So when you solo a track that has a delay, you solo safe the delay. So when you solo the, the vocal, if, if it has a delay on it, you will hear all the effects that come with the vocal. If you don't and you hit solo, you'll hear the vocal dry if you're using, if you're sending the vocal to an effect and that track is not in solo safe. I'm going to show you again using a virtual instrument so it makes more sense. So uh, I'm just going to send this to this program so we have it. And to for continuity's sake, I'm going to choose Omnisphere again. I'm going to go to Instrument, Omnisphere, boom. Okay. So the thing is in Omnisphere, we're going to go back here and I'm going to go automatically. I go straight to multi. It's just a good habit to get into. So it's just, you don't get lost in the program. And these are all your eight different parts you can choose from. Let's just choose anything for part one. And I'm just going to choose Ethnic World, and I'm going to choose uh, Ethnic Motion, and the Call of the Ancients. And I have to put the instrument track in record to hear it. And uh, let's give it a listen real quick. Okay, whatever, it's some, some kind of flute. And uh, the part doesn't matter, I just want to show you that you'll notice I have this flute because when you create an instrument track, it puts control for MIDI channel one of the instrument. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a new MIDI track. And I'm going to make sure I'm telling it, hey, play Omnisphere channel one. And now if I put this in record, same, same sound because it's triggering this. So here's the problem. Let's make one more MIDI track. Command Shift N, another MIDI track, and let's choose a sound for part two here. Just anything. So let's just find something retro because Retroland. Uh, let's see what that is. So I need to listen to that. I need to put this in record, and I need to go here and say, "Hey, you play Omnisphere Channel Two." So let's see what kind of sound this is. Oh, that's dear God awful. Let's go to keyboards and ambient space piano. Okay, so there's our ambient piano. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of, I'm gonna name ambient piano. And this one was, I don't know, some kind of fluty thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you what would happen if I record onto the instrument track this the flutes okay I'm gonna I'm not even gonna listen to a click I'm just gonna throw a part down so you can see okay so there's my part and now let's say I want to record something on this other piano part I'm gonna hit record on this piano part okay now what if I want to solo this ambient piano if I play it we're not going to hear anything, right? Why? Because it's playing this instrument, and this instrument is not, is not soloed. So I'm going to do what I did with my vocal. I'm going to put my instrument track in solo safe. So when I solo a MIDI track that is referring to that instrument, and I hit play, it's going to play it. But you'll notice we have a problem because the flute that we don't want to hear is on there as well. If we solo that, we're still going to hear the flute right but I don't want to hear the flute I just want to hear this ambient piano the problem is if we look over here I'm gonna make these bigger so you can see it there's the flutey thing we didn't record on that track we recorded on the instrument track so this is why I'm saying don't record on the instrument track 
when you set up a multi timbral instrument, if you're going to want to be soloing parts, record uh, the instrument MIDI channel one on its own track. Now, if I go, so now there's nothing on the instrument track. I'm going to name this Omnisphere. And I'm going to go back to here so you can see it. If I solo, it's now just the ambient piano because I did not record anything on the instrument track. So it's a really good habit to get into is to not record on the instrument track. And instead, when you create an instrument, let's do it from scratch one more time. I'm going to create another stereo instrument just to show you. Create. All right, let's choose just for the heck of it a second Omnisphere. Just and then what I would do is the first thing I do. So the first thing I do is create MIDI channels. Let's say let's create two MIDI channels, two tracks, MIDI tracks, create, boom, and then I set them to this instrument. So this is Omnis two. Not that I would really ever have two Omnispheres, but this one would be Omnisphere 2, channel 1, and this would be Omnisphere 2, channel 2. So I'm not recording my MIDI, even though I can trigger it from the instrument. I don't do it because if I want to solo any tracks, it's not going to solo whatever MIDI is recorded onto the instrument track. So the point is, create an instrument track, then create the MIDI channel tracks to go with it. Don't record on the MIDI instrument track unless you're only using, if I'm just using one Omnisphere and no other multiple parts, then yes, I would just record on the instrument track for simplicity. But if you're using an instrument and you're using multiple MIDI channels and multiple MIDI tracks, if you record separately, then you can solo each MIDI track separately. If you record onto the instrument track and then try and solo, you're going to hear whatever MIDI is on the instrument track, and then you're going to hear whatever is you're trying to solo. So I hope that's just making sense. And then the other thing again is you want to put any instruments immediately in solo safe because right now I'm going to undo this solo here. If I solo this, that's playing this this Omnisphere right here, I'm not going to hear it because it's not in solo. So I say, hey, Omnisphere 2, when I solo, I don't want you to, so to mute. Because when you solo something, everything else is muted. So if you put something in solo safe, it means when I go into solo, there, it's safe from being muted. That's what it means. So I have my talkback mic in solo safe, and I have all my instrument tracks in solo safe, and I usually put any kind of external effects in solo safe. So I hope this was helpful and uh, a good tip for you guys who are using these uh, multi-timbral virtual instruments to create the instrument track, then create the MIDI tracks. Do not record your MIDI onto the instrument track unless you're using just one of the instruments. I hope that makes sense.